What's poppin'? I'm here once again. Um, we're taking a look at some Jazzwares World of Halo figures. This is Tartarus and the Prophet of Truth, Mercy, or whatever the third one is. I don't have my prophets memorized, I'm sorry. And I don't have the box to look at it to see uh, what the character names are because I've thrown the box away. It's been destroyed. I tried recording this video once, unboxing the figures. I think I got mad or something and I just ended up destroying it and like throwing it in the trash can immediately. So we don't have the box anymore. Basically, it's just like all of the other Jazzwares Vault Edition Halo boxes, you know, the ones that are the two packs where it's it's just a black box. It's, it's a really nice box for the price point, I'm going to be honest with you. So I think the biggest draw for this is, of course, going to be the Tartarus figure. Tartarus is just a really cool character from Halo 2, Halo 3. I can't remember if you kill him or not in Halo 2. Like, Halo 2 is probably my least played Halo campaign. I've played Combat Evolved a decent amount, going through it on Legendary right now. But Halo 2, I really enjoy. I love the original Bungie Halo campaigns. They're my favorite. It's just that I don't often play them. And that's my bad. I'm sorry. I failed the community. But just getting straight into it with the figures here. I've got a gnat flying around. I'm ready to go sicko mode on its ass. And it may look like Tartarus is holding his gravity hammer a little bit strangely. Uh, that's because his arms don't work. You know, it looks like he's itching his booty right now with the end of the hammer. That's because his arm doesn't work. And so, yeah, the articulation on Tartarus, his, his hammer is just too heavy for the weak shoulder articulation. It's so annoying. The legs, the hips are pretty loose as well. So articulation is just going to be kind of weird on him. The no neck articulation, he can swivel. There's like a hinge in there. You can do a little bit. He can look up a little bit. But his collar armor, bro, he's just, you know, he, he's got the choker on. He can't, he can't move his head. You know, I'm sometimes attracted to goth women. But I have never understood the chokers. I just, I don't get the appeal of that. You're just not going to be able to properly look down. So anyways, shoulder articulation is actually not that bad. It's just loose. Bro, look at that elbows. That's terrible. Um, you do get another ball hinge on the wrists. You just don't have a lot of range of motion with these joints. Like you have like decent joints and useful joints, but they just don't move that much. Can't move this shoulder too much because of this gigantic shoulder pauldron he has. Supposed to be like some sort of like skull on there. I don't know the lore. Um, so for ab articulation, you do have joints in there, but they just don't really move. They just, they don't really move. He's got this giant harness over everything. So you just can't use any of that. Ball joints at the hips, very loose. Um, I feel like he's just constantly trying to like spread his legs, pause. You know, that's not what I want. Anyways, you can move his knees back a pretty decent amount. I don't even think you can move his knees back as much as like they're capable of because these are double hinged knees, right? But since his legs are so short, you can't really move the second joint all the way back. So, I mean, really, we're not even seeing the full potential of Tartarus's knees here. Ankle articulation exists. You do not have rockers. Well, you kind of do, but it's barely functional. And that's essentially the articulation for Tartarus. It's very f***ed. You know, for the price point, I can't really argue with it too much because as you can see, it's a good looking figure. These Jazzwares World of Halo figures for the most part, look pretty good, especially in the vault collection, the sculpting, the paint apps, the proportions. I really enjoy how everything looks. It's just the articulation that's really, really not that great. I think uh, where we mess up the most on the paint is going to end up being the head, unfortunately. It still looks pretty good. He's just got some red eyes right there. I wish there was just some more depth, some more detail. He does have his gravity hammer, which probably has some super pretentious name that I don't remember. I think it looks cool. I think it's a cool looking gravity hammer. You got all these like gold studs on there that probably just like pulse when it hits the ground. Like and everyone goes flying. I hate the gravity hammer. It's a... Uh, it's fun to use, but in multiplayer, I just, I feel like it's so inconsistent, man. Like, I'll be literally three miles away from this guy, and I can see he's holding the gravity hammer. I already know him. He slams it on the ground. I'm still three miles away, maybe two and a half at this point, and I'm dead. I'm just dead instantly. And I, that, that is too powerful. Then I use it. I'm literally, like, two centimeters away from his cock. And I, I bash that thing 
right on his head, and it doesn't kill him. He's still alive. No overshield, no armor lock. He's, he's still alive. And of course, he's using a shotgun, so I'm instantly dead. I do not like the gravity hammer, but it does look cool. That was Tartarus. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this prophet, this unnamed prophet. He's not unnamed. I just don't remember his name. He comes in his little, you know, it's like, it's like one of those little, like a, you know, like a, what, what are they called? Those, those circular ring chairs that you put a toddler in when they're learning to walk. They can't quite walk yet. And so you put them in that chair and they kind of just scoot around like, <laughs> you know, uh, something like that. That's what this reminds me of. Why they why they constantly got to be hovering around in chairs, I don't know, but they are. They have to look very pompous, and um, they do. I would say they achieve that. So his chair looks pretty cool. I love, I just, I love, and I deeply miss the purple, you know, covenant designs. Um, I wish the Covenant still existed in some way, because I like the Banished, but I just don't feel like they're being utilized correctly in a lot of different ways. Um, but I still think the Banished, like the red and the gray just does not hit as hard as the purple. I really do prefer the Covenant color scheme, the Covenant designs. And this is just a really nice looking chair. You've got gold embroidery. You've got the control pads on the armrest, so he can beep boop, bop, beep boop, so he can like get a the Gluck Gluck 3000 while he's delivering a speech to the Covenant. And so, yeah, it's just, it's probably a very versatile, very useful chair, looks good, and it comes apart. So you can take that off. And then I guess you can just have him like floating around. So he can be removed from the chair. I was under the impression that he was just, it was all just gonna be one piece, but it's not. But there's gonna be very little articulation uh, for this dude. As you can see, there's some joints in there. You can move his arms around a little bit. Just not a whole lot going on, though. The plastic... Oh, well, actually, I didn't know this was open underneath. So, as you can see, all the articulation underneath there. He's got elbow joints, wrist joints, and shoulder joints. Those are all going to be ball hinges, but you just can't do a whole lot with them. I mean, you can move his hand up a little bit. That's pretty cool. Because the robes that they have going around here are this very soft plastic material. And um, so you can get some posability out of him. I believe these... These aren't even on swivel, so you can't even pose his feet. <coughs> and there's not much ab articulation either. You can kind of like turn him a little bit. Other than that, though, there's just not much you can do. The head articulation, I can see a ball hinge in the neck. And so, yeah, you can get him to look up a little bit from there. Let's get him to pop back down. I don't want it to look like he's exerting himself too much. Um, and then you also got a ball hinge on the on that like right underneath the head make him look up and down a little bit make him look left to right uh, so you get very minimal articulation with this guy unfortunately but you really don't need him to do a whole lot so i feel like you can get him to do what you need him to do with what you're given also just like the tartarus he does look pretty good he looks pretty accurate um, I would prefer maybe some pupils on the eyes. Um, he's looking a little bit too much like TMNT right here. And basically that's going to be about it for this figure. He's just, he's just a guy. He is a uh, Voldemort from the Harry Potter dream in Deathly Hollows, you know, curled up fetal position underneath the railway train station. I don't know what that was. That freaked me out as a child. But that's basically what this guy is going to be. He can't do a whole lot. I'm going to put him back in his chair so he looks more interesting. Um, he fits very snugly into the chair. I wouldn't worry about him like falling out or anything like that. He fits very snugly into the chair. Um, but it is really cool to get these Bungie era Halo figures. I really, really do love that we're able to still get figures of these guys. And figures that look accurate, even though they may not have good articulation, they look accurate to the source material. You look at them like, dude, this is this is Bungie Halo. This is Tartarus. This is the Prophet. We're we're eating good somewhat. I appreciate that. I appreciate that there's a company out there that's still willing to make uh, Halo stuff that's not terrible and that's from the Bungie games. So great job, Jazzwares. Um, actually, mediocre job because these figures aren't that great, but I enjoy them for what they are. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.